Hi, I'm Sean Lewis, Inglewood City Manager. My primary responsibilities are to manage the general operations of the city and to implement the policies set forth by our City Council. Even before I moved to Inglewood in August of 2019, I had heard about the vibrant arts activities in this community, especially those of the Museum of Outdoor Arts and Inglewood Arts. Both of these organizations are located on the second floor of our beautiful Civic Center. I'm speaking with you now from my office on the third floor of the Civic Center, which is directly above Hamden Hall, where Inglewood Arts presents its chamber music of the Masters Concerts. Some of my favorite times in this office are when musicians are rehearsing on the stage and the beautiful music that they make reaches my office. The city of Inglewood is grateful to Inglewood Arts for its 20-year history of music education and performance programs that reach thousands of our residents. We are pleased to support their important work and are happy that you are viewing this video. It features cellist Silver Ainome and pianist Joshua Sawicki performing the Shostakovich Cello Sonata. Thank you for watching and thank you for supporting Inglewood Arts.
Thank you. 
start talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings. My name is Silver Einoma. I am the uh, artistic director of Englewood Arts. And uh, we have just finished recording the uh, Shostakovich Cello Sonata with Joshua Solitsky. And uh, we'd like to uh, just share a few thoughts about this uh, with you um, in a way that we probably would have if, if our dear audience would be in this hall for this, uh, this program. So um, basically, uh, Shostakovich had had a lot of issues uh, with the way he was writing music and, and uh, Lenin had been a little bit more forgiving about music than Stalin was. And, and so there were all rules and, and things like that that um, were, were limiting his ability to perhaps express himself 100% um, freely. Um, 1934, um, basically, he started performing this piece himself um, soon after uh, it was composed and uh, took it to a lot of places. Um, Josh, what do you feel um, your angle is to this playing this piece and how, how you feel about this uh, sonata? Uh, it's, it's been a pleasure working on it and, and uh, thank you again for inviting me here. It's one of my favorite places to play. Um, what's interesting about this piece is it might not sound simple, um, but a lot of the piano part just has one note per hand. Um, some parts are reminiscent of even Hannon, and that doesn't make it easy to play. Um, but what makes that interesting to me is the depth of emotion that, that a, a master composer like Shostakovich can get from such a simple uh, texture, almost classical. And um, I've recently uh, been watching a lot of Tarkovsky films, and uh, what he can do with simple images and, and simple tracking shots, even of just nature or of just a human, um, almost leave, the simplicity almost leaves you space to fill in the emotional content yourself. It's almost more powerful than having a thick texture or a lot going on. Um, so it's really just a masterwork and been a pleasure to play. Yeah. So for this work, basically, um, it seems like there are, there are hints of, of um, uh, folk music and, and, and just hints of this and that. And it's written actually in a little bit more um, traditional format, I would say. And it's sometimes even compared that maybe the, there's a, a connection with Beethoven uh, piano cello sonatas, um, and because there's, there's more melodic stuff in this piece than in many other compositions that he wrote you know, before or after that. Um, I first performed this piece probably about um, 20 years ago, and I was just completely in love with it, and I, I couldn't wait to perform all these haunting passages and, and everything where it seems like the time just stops. But um, then at the same time, you know, it has these um, incredibly fast and challenging passages for piano, um, which you played beautifully. So um, do you want to basically explain how you can technically approach maybe this, how you start practicing something that's extremely fast and doesn't maybe always sit as, as well for, for your hands as, as you'd like? Yeah, um, because of the simplicity of the piano part, it can also be really exposed. And uh, the temptation is to put the pedal down and cover everything up. Um, and so I just uh, approach pretty much every piece the same, just slowly. I, I treat uh, the difficult pieces just like the easy ones. I start really slow. Uh, in my mind, I've just reframed it that there are pieces that take longer and less long, not, not that they're harder or easier. Um, so yeah, just putting some time into it and uh, lots of slow practice, some metronome too for some of these hand and parts. Yeah, it's it's interesting though how sometimes those the, the simplest things are the hardest things to then basically exactly. perform and, and record um, because there's just it, you know it it's so simple that you can't really bluff you can't really exactly. do anything you can't really hide anything it just has to be perfect timing wise note wise all that and you know classical musicians often get um, get very critical about things but um, but that's you know, how, does it make you feel different to be in front of a camera and microphones compared to if we actually were doing the same thing here in a Saturday afternoon at 2 p.m. for a um, crowd? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, there is a, there's some amount of pressure either way. Um, I prefer playing for people instead. Right. Uh, there's just a nice warm feeling that, that we always get from the Englewood audience, and uh, we don't have that today. But but I've played here enough to keep that, that nice warm feeling in my mind. and. Play with that today, so and um, yeah, 
people just be watching from home. Right, exactly. And uh, we're you know, always thinking about our audience when we're rehearsing here and then we, we usually see those same uh, very loyal concert goers that come here and have been doing so for over a decade. Um, and we're really grateful for your support and we really can't wait to, to be back here in, in Hampton Hall to perform for you um, in a live setup. So thank you very much. Thank you.